Welcome back. Do you remember how I described operating systems in the last video? I said that they provide the essential instructions for the computer to work. I also said that they provide an interface for the other types of software to work with. Let's explore this concept further. Consider a computer user. This user wants to accomplish some task using a software application. As the user uses a software application, it needs to interact with hardware of the computer. This would be the CPU, RAM and hard drive as I've discussed before. Everything that a computer does is broken down into a mathematical formula. The CPU, RAM and hard drive are involved in working with these mathematical formulas and storing their results. Other hardware items that may be involved as the user interacts with the software include a graphics to allow the user to see the output of the app. A sound card may be used to give audible feedback. A keyboard and mouse allow the user to enter information into the app and perhaps a printer to get some physical output. In this scenario, the software app must know exactly how each piece of hardware works and what instructions to send it to make it work. With each piece of hardware, you also get a small piece of software called a driver. This deals with the fundamental interaction with the hardware. Now the software application doesn't need to know how to interact directly with the individual components, but there's still quite a lot of difference in how it would need to interact with each driver. What if the user wants to interact with a second application? This will also need to access and interact with the hardware. The problem with this is that the driver software can't cope with different software trying to access the hardware at the same time. This means that half of the requests won't be serviced, almost certainly resulting in both applications crashing. This is where an operating system comes in. It provides a layer between the software and hardware. The drivers slot into the operating system and so it manages the interaction with the hardware. This means that the software only has to interact with the operating system. So if two apps are running, they each send requests to the operating system to access the hardware. This then manages queuing the requests so as not to confuse the hardware and the driver software. In this way, a modern operating system can manage multiple apps. In this lecture, we have looked at what an operating system is and why one is needed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.